Good day and welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Today we are still looking at Romans chapter 5 and verse 12. Romans chapter 5 tells us, tells us we are by as by one man sin entered into the world and death by sin and so death passed upon all men for that all men have sinned we are here talking about that one man which is adam but we will see jesus christ who is referred to as the second adam how he triumphs over adam's sin his work on the cross brought triumph or brought victory and we can read this in Romans chapter 5, verse 12 through verse 21. So here, Adam is portrayed as the head, the federal head, or the representative of all those that are in the old creation. Christ himself represents the new creation, and that's why we say, all things are passed away which is the old creation and in christ behold all things are become anew so christ represents the federal head of all those that are in the new creation the federal head what the federal head does is hacks for all those who are under him or her basically at him most of the time for example when the president or the prime minister of a country signs a bill into law he is acting or she is acting for the citizens of that country this is what happened in adam's case as a result of his sin human death entered the world death because of the common lot of what Adam does and it means that because we are all descendants of him therefore because he has sin then all sinned in him it is here that we will say but listen we are individuals as well and we commit individual acts of sin as well but this is not the thought here that the apostle paul was trying to point out he was trying to say to us uh, adam's sin was a representative act he represented the whole human race and all his descendants all his posterity are reckoned as having sinned in him so we might say but Eve was the one who committed the first sin on earth that is true but since Adam was the first to be created having headship this was given to him by God so he is seen as acting for all his descendants when the apostle paul says that death spread to all men he's referring to physical death even though adam sin brought spiritual death as well and verse 13 and verse 14 shows us that but when we look at the scriptures we find a lot of questions that are being asked. These questions arise because somebody will say, is it fear that Adam's posterity should be constituted sinners just because he sinned? Another question we have, does God condemn men for having been born sinners or only for those whose sin which they have actually committed 
if men are born with a sinful nature and if they are dear for sinners because they that's the way they are born how can God hold them responsible for what they do and many more questions and on and on we find the questions coming but what we do know is that uh, first of all the Bible teaches that men are sinners because of their human nature because of the practices also of what they do everyone born to human parents inherit Adam's sin and also by their own deliberate choice the actions the sins that they committed secondly we know that the wages of sin is death both physical and spiritual death and the spiritual death which is total or eternal separation from God but no one has to pay the penalty for sin unless such person wants to do so this is the important point that the apostle is trying to point out at the enormous cost to God he sent his only begotten son as a substitute for sinners to pay that wage for sin so that he could bring salvation from sin and its wages he offered this free gift through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ men do not have to live in sin and condemnation because of what Adam does but we can turn to Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and accept that which he did for us on the cross of Calvary he gave his life he paid the price and if we by faith will accept him then we become now the new creation the new creation which Christ himself represents and then we become new creatures in him we now take on his nature and not that of Adam which we originally had and so today as God has offered to us the free gift of salvation let us make use of this free gift we do not have to pay the wages for sin but we can and die a physical death and also a spiritual death and be eternally separated from God but we can accept this free gift and live and obtain eternal life God bless you thank you again for watching and may God bless